After showing us the Liberal caucus trying to meet in secret, Hugo Suave is back showing us the RCMP training camp. Look at this, man. Like the RCMP in training right here. This is hilarious. What the hell is this girl doing seriously, though? <laughs> Thank you, little Hugo, for this incredible video. Now, this video is going to be great, guys. I'm telling you right now. I have found a graph that shows how many people from India... Uh, immigrants that came to Canada since 2015. The amount is unreal, man. Look at all these. Look at all these people from India that Justin Trudeau is trying to get in here just so that they vote for him. Like that's unreal, man. Trudeau let in more Kalistanis than there are people in some provinces in Canada. Not even a joke. It's ironic because they're voting for Jagmeet Singh and not even for him. Jughead, Jagmeet, Jagmet, call him what you want. Uh, Jagmeet Singh has released a hit piece on Pierre Polyev, which quite honestly, when you say stuff like that, when you start insinuating that someone is working for another government like he was a spy, um, you're crossing the line. I would sue you for defamation. The damage that he did to Pierre Polyev with this fake story cannot be taken back, man. Like, it, it's gonna be there forever. People will remember this video of Jagmeet Singh exposing Pierre Polyev with a fake story. Look at the views that Jagmeet Singh got on his video hit piece of Pierre Polyev. 11 hours, 222 views. I'm telling you, man, a hit piece like this, once it gets seen, it's defamation. <laughs> like the guy pays for a production the guy pays for an ad you know he pays for video production releases it and it gets 222 views in 11 hours because he's a freaking terrorist now what a strange coincidence that Jagmeet Singh is repeating the same exact thing that Justin Trudeau was saying the day before at the public inquiry for election interference but he adds a touch of BS the only leader the only federal leader in our country right now who is not either committed to or obtained security clearance is Pierre Polyev. It is very disturbing to me, given the ongoing threats, the ongoing and real threats from a foreign government impacting the lives of Canadians right now, in addition to specific allegations that are now public knowledge in the report that was released that specifically named the Conservative Party of Canada and at least two uh, leadership races, the one where the current leader was chosen and the previous one. Given that, I cannot imagine why a leader would not want to receive all information possible to take every step to protect our country. I love our country. I love our democracy, as these workers do. These workers love Canada. I love Canada. I want to do everything possible to protect it. I can't imagine why a political leader wouldn't also want to do that as well. So I can't understand why Pierre Polyev refuses to get information that could protect the lives of Canadians, that could protect the, the sanctity of our democracy. This is a moment where we have to put our party second and put the country first. It is a country first approach. And the only reason I think Pierre Polyev is reluctant to take the information or get the information necessary is because he wants to protect his party above the country. And that is absolutely- If you look at all the posts from MPs on X, Jagmeet Singh is the one that has the most community notes where he gets fact-checked for lying. He has the record. Imagine getting fact-checked every time you talk or make a post. But anyways, so that liar, by the way, was seen back in the past. Like, if you want to say someone's a traitor to your country, well, I want to refresh your memory, guys, because Jagmeet Singh was hanging around with Khalistani terrorists. They're considered terrorists in India, and here they can... And here, Justin Trudeau likes to call them Canadian voters. These ideas, they're very, I like to say the gangster ideas, right? They're, they're, they were ultimate revolutionaries. It is about sick spaces and sick institutions. 
and he endorses violence as a legitimate form of resistance and survival. Singh was a featured speaker at the National Sikh Youth Federation, NSYF, in Southall, London, UK. This organization's leader, Mr. Shamshir Singh, has made statements regarding the use of violent means to achieve their aims. Armed struggle is the only way. Um, investing in armed struggle and destabilizing in India. So we have to create our independent country. So there will be violence when Khalistan is created, but this is inevitable. These statements by Mr. Shamshir Singh were made as part of NSYF's official videos and previous to Mr. Jagmeet Singh accepting not only an invite, but also to be a featured speaker on the panel at the February 2016 event. One is about sovereignty explicitly and uncompromisingly. It endorses the superiority of our culture, our language, and our ideals. It is about sick spaces and sick institutions. And it endorses violence as a legitimate form of resistance and survival. And you're standing beside a, an individual who reportedly said that Sikh uh, self-determination required taking up arms. Uh, well, again, there, there's a complexity to the situation. The issue is complex, and it's not easy to say I agree or disagree with that. It's important to understand the, the, the complexity of the scenario. Do you regret going to those rallies now? No, I would, I would go in the future. But anyways, like, he was seen with these guys that were bragging publicly about, like, doing harm to police officers. They were, like, almost, they were basically planning a terrorist attack in India with Jagmeet Singh sitting next to them. That's the way I see it. Jagmeet Singh, he should be banned from entering the United States, if you ask me. Like, he should be on the, like, he's on the watch list. He's banned from India. My apologies, we have to interrupt the video, because we have breaking news. Did you know Jagmeet Singh is banned in India? Because he's considered a Khalistani uh, supporter? of the Sikhs don't share the same views as these guys. So it's not the same thing. So don't consider anyone to be a Khalistani because he's a Sikh. Now... Jagmeet here, though, is not a Khalistani. And he's there supporting their cause. Like, for votes. So Justin Trudeau imported these guys to get votes from them, but they're giving their vote to Jagmeet Singh. Wow. I'm going to finish this video off with a few memes I made. I made them all myself. Pierre is the only MP to bench press a moose. And look how jacked he is on this one. This is kind of a meme uh, here of... Uh, Relating to Donald Trump when he got shot, what Biden said, it's time to put uh, Donald Trump in the bullseye, while well, Pierre's putting the carbon tax in the bullseye. What's more Canadian than a Canadian MP riding a moose, bro? And here we see Justin Trudeau waving at his fans made, of, uh, his fans made out of cardboard. <laughs> uh, don't eat animals. Stop eating animals without barbecue sauce, someone wrote underneath this thing here. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here.